In this video we are going to make a zippet pouch like this and don't worry about sewing with zippers and everything. It's such an easy project and we're going through everything step by step together. Here are the materials that we're going to need. Some lining fabric, some outer fabric and a zipper. And everything depends on the length of your zipper and that's how long I cut my fabric so that's why it's 8.5 by 5.5 inches as you can see the zipper is just as long as the length of this piece of fabric here and we're going to need a zipper foot as you can see here the zipper foot will help us <laughs> prevent that we're going to sew right on the zipper this is really nice and easy here and every sewing machine should come with a zipper foot as well. So I'm starting by putting down my lining fabric and I'm placing the zipper right on top of it. I reinforce my lining fabric with some interfacing but you don't have to do that. And now I'm putting my main fabric right sides on top of it and I'm going to use my wonder clips to clip it all together and keep it in place. And as you can see here the zipper pull makes it all a bit bulky so we're not going to start right at the top here but we're going to start sewing a little bit further down we're going to start a little bit further down then we're going to sew all the way down and then later on we're going to open the zipper and finish the top so we're starting here a little bit further down and I can feel with my finger where the zipper is and I'm placing my zipper foot right next to the zipper so that I know that I have enough distance between the zipper and my seam here. And I'm sewing all the way down, removing my clips as I'm going. And if you're using a thicker fabric for your outside, then um, you don't need to line your fabrics. So now I'm opening my zipper a little bit, and then I can sew from the beginning of this seam here to the very edge of the fabric or I'm starting at the edge <laughs> and then I'm sewing to where I started my other seam just to make sure that everything is nice and sewed and here we are there's our seam now we can see what it looks like as you can see super easy looks nice and neat and now we just need to sew the other side so I'm folding the fabric all to one side and we're repeating the same thing on the other side. I'm putting down my lining fabric and I'm placing the zipper on top. And then I'm taking my outer fabric and place it right sides onto the zipper, the right side facing downwards. And I clip it again with my wonder clips. And this time we're going to stop at the zipper so we can start at the very top. And then we are sewing all the way down until we get to the zipper pull. Technically, because my zipper pull is so tiny, I could probably just keep sewing. But for the sake of technique and everything, and if you have a really fancy zipper pull with maybe a round pull or a bigger one, it's definitely easier to do it this way. So then we open the zipper a little bit and then we can finish sewing the seam here. There we go. Now we can cut it off and now we can close our zipper again and we are going to fold the fabric apart like so. So we have both the upper and the lining fabric on one side of the zipper each. Now we can press it a little bit just if you have a plastic zipper make sure you don't iron the plastic because it might melt and ruin the whole zipper. <laughs> and then we're going to top stitch on both sides along the zipper to make sure that the fabric stays nice and in place for later on because if we try and open and close the zipper once the pouch is done it's just a lot easier and the pouch doesn't get like caught up in the zipper and for the top stitch you can just use a wider stitch for some reason I'm using a small stitch here doesn't look quite as nice <laughs> but 
I must have forgotten to change the stitch length here. But if I hadn't told you, you might not have noticed, so maybe that was a bit silly to say. <laughs> okay, now, very, very important to open the zipper now. Because if we don't, we won't be able to turn the, zip, uh, the whole pouch inside out once we're done. So now we're folding both the outer fabrics and the lining fabrics to one side each. And now we are folding the zipper towards the lining and pin it into place. It's just going to look nicer once the pouch is done. I'm doing the same thing here. I'm just out of frame, which is not very clever. <laughs> here we are. So the seams are both folded towards the lining and now I can use my wonder clips to clip it all all the way around and we are going to we're going to sew all the way around in that square almost square shape or rectangle shape and we're going to leave, leave a turning hole in the lining fabric so we can turn the pouch inside out and for for the turning hole I'm marking everything with some pins so I don't forget to sew my turning hole which is something that I like to do sometimes. So in here we're going to sew all the way around except for the turning hole. Now I can change back to my regular foot on the sewing machine and can sew all the way around. Starting at the bottom of my turning hole here Then I lift the foot and pivot the fabric. Now I can sew all the way around until I get back to the turning hole. And this is such a fun and easy project. This is the third pouch I'm making now. <laughs> I already made a few more. My daughter really wanted one as well. And I'm probably going to make a, a larger one for some larger items or even documents. And I might use some really thick fabric or even some nylon plastic fabric around the fabric to make it nice and sturdy and waterproof. There are so many ways you can make these pouches. Really, really fun. There we go, we're nearly there. Just removing the clips as we go. Now making sure that we're sewing across the zipper here. And now we're nearly back. And we can just backstitch a little bit. And make sure that the seam is nice and neat. Now we're going to clip the corners here. So it's easier to turn everything inside out. And the, we can really turn those points outwards once we turn everything inside out. So we're turning the fabric inside out through the turning hole which is a little bit fiddly depending on how large you made your turning hole. I always like to make them as small as possible so I don't have as much to close later on because I don't like the look of turning holes really. I wish they would just magically disappear once we finish a project. <laughs> and now we turn all the points outwards and here's the turning hole if I wanted it to look as neatly as possible I would probably use a blind stitch or a ladder stitch and close it by hand but you can also use your sewing machine and since I don't think I will ever turn that pouch inside out again and I will most likely not see that <laughs> seam I'm happy to just sew it on the sewing machine and then we can fold the lining fabric inside the outer fabric. Pull out the pointy bits here again. And then we're done with our zipper pouch. Now that was fun, I think. Don't you think? I would love to see your creations in the Sammy Facebook group if you like. The link is down below in the video description. So now I'm just pressing the fabric a little bit to make it look a little bit neater. And there we are. There's our zipper pouch. I don't know what I'm going to put inside it. Probably my lipstick or my chapstick. I don't know. Maybe some pens or pencils for my bag. <laughs> Thank you so much for sewing with me and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye! 
Thank you so much for watching and for sewing with me. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos and you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. If you want to support me, you can purchase my patterns on my website. The link is down below in the video description. See you next time. Bye!